sack and that 59-yard interception return for a touchdown. Take me through that play because you seem to have read Walker like a book. You know, um, we've been going over those routes, concepts, and practice throughout the week, so um, I was geared up for it. Um, I just had my eyes on the quarterback, had my eyes on the receiver, and just kept both of them in my vision. And um, the quarterback was locked on to his receiver. I just went out there and jumped. As hard as this fall has been, an 0 9 start, when you saw open pasture, that had to be some feeling. Definitely, definitely. Um, like I said, I had one, one thing in my mind that I was scoring for my team up and trying to get the win for this university. How hard has it been being one of the co captains of this football team in all the first in this fall? Um, it's definitely been tough. You know, I'm, I'm a competitive person. I don't like to lose anything that I do. Um, I put a lot of effort, put a lot of work into it. So, you know, I'm just going to keep out there, keep going out there, um, keep giving the same effort that I would have been if we were undefeated. Keep just trying to push my teammates and trying to get better each week. Clearly, there was more of a focus in the second half against Temple. Were you involved in anything that may have been said or done at halftime or early in that third quarter that kind of set the tone for the rest of that football game? Yeah, I went out there, I gathered up my um, defense, and I just told these guys, you know, we made a lot of mistakes in the first half. Half, but you know, the first half is over with. Let's just go out there and play a complete football game. We're going to win this game. The only way we're going to win this game is if we get a shutout. Now it's just a mindset. You look at the group of four that went on to the National Football League just from a defense last year. Gilardo.